Hey, it's Mr. Peace inside the main lobby of the church here at St. Patrick Parish in White Lake, Michigan. But we actually had the assembly talks for the school, St. Patrick Catholic School, in the church, in, in the main doors that are behind me over here in the sanctuary. And we did all grades today, pre-K through 8th. And the main message was all about positivity, being your best self, right? To think positive, have a positive attitude and all areas of our lives, with our family, with our friends, here at school, in our community, and to still try to be positive even when things aren't going the best, right? It's easy to stay positive when the sun's shining and everything's going our way, but when things get tough or difficult, whether it's a problem in class, whether it's a situation on our team, whether it's something going on at home, whatever it is, you know, it's easy to stay down and to think negatively. And so the idea is that we can still maintain a positive outlook even when things aren't going the best, right? Like the shirt for the talk reads, keep your head up. It's upside down on purpose to serve as a reminder that we can try our best to do our best and then rest as it relates to how we start to really look at different scenarios that sometimes storms have to happen in our lives for rainbows to appear and for new life to spring up. And sometimes these difficult times make us stronger, right? And it could be God putting us to a test and we can reach out to him and others for support when we feel that we really can't go on. But we also have to know that the opposite of success that we talked about as well is not failure. So many people think it is, but it's quitting and it's giving up. And it's all about just giving our effort, that true excellence. It's not about being the best. It's just about doing our best. That's all that our parents and coaches and everybody wants from us is to just give the effort. And usually if we are giving the best effort, then we're going to get the results that we want. But in Galatians, it says, you know, be strong, do not give up. First Peter talks about using our gifts and our talents and our abilities to the best of our ability, right? And that we all know that we are beautiful miracles. We always revisit this idea that I'm in all of our palms with the lines of each of our hands. We have at least one on each hand. If I trace one of mine here again, and this M is for miracle, right? Upside down W for worthy, that we're worthy of love to give it and receive it, that we're all beautiful miracles created in Christ's image and likeness, all children of, of, of God, of the Most High. And in Isaiah 49, it says, I have engraved you on the palm of my hands. And that's the proof, right? That's the proof. And now it's up to us to go not, not only believe that, but then be the light to someone else's heart. We talked about in Matthew as well, be the light to this world. Shine our light. Shine Christ's light. We do that through how we live. The legacy that we want to leave, that's how we really, truly stay positive, be our best self, and walk the walk and live the message that our perfect example of perfect love showed us, right, through his ultimate sacrifice. Thank you guys again for touching my heart. You're beautiful. Keep your heads up. Keep going. Keep doing your best. Have a great rest of the school year. Hope to see you again in the future. Until then, and as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button you'll see pop up on the screen right here. Feel free to check out the special playlist of some pretty awesome video clips on this link right here on the bottom. And you can also visit my website as you can explore my journey and track it as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.